let's see if we can find the key for the rest. I don't think it's going to work. Okay, so we're, according to the thing, we are now live. It's showing footage from the game, which is also good. It's just showing like the five minute one from before. Oh, here we go, live now. It's just my phone being weird. Okay, right. Last thing, while we're just getting set up, I'm gonna, you know, do that thing that lets people know we're live, posting links and all that stuff. Jagged the recording. Sounds about right. I think it's jagged because I haven't got the window open at the minute. So the links are out, and now we just have to wait for people to come along. So how's it look on this thing? Just looks like that. I think it's running okay now. Well, yeah, it will be. Mm. Anyway. Put this there so we can both see the chat. Bye. This is where the microphone goes. I'm sorry, my wire's been knocked. Now I can't remember what I am. <laughs> Just better make sure. Sorry. Yeah, it's still picking up, but is it the right microphone? Do you need yes. that one on? No. Make sure the cheats are still on and then we can start. Right, infinite credits is what we want and that's it. Okay. We're now able to start. Yay. Ugh. So. Yeah. Hello everyone. Hello. I don't think anyone's here yet. No, I don't think anyone's here yet either, but we should probably just make a start. Yeah. It's been delayed enough as it is. So. For those of you who are watching on YouTube, on the replay, this is the officially released public version of ZVTOR's Justice League Legacy now, because it's had a name change. So, he... For things that I say that, if you join his Patreon, you get other characters, and I'm a part of his Patreon, so I get his first extra character. Whether or not they'll ever be released to the public, I don't know, but we will find out soon enough. So, in this new version, we've got four chapters now, rather than the two. <laughs> Crisis on Infinite Earths. I played a tiny bit of it, mm. and you start off playing as the Ninja Turtles, which was a good start. But also, for fans of Streets of Rage, there's the bonus Streets of Rage mode, which has been put in. New Game Plus and all that stuff, but we haven't got that yet, because we're going to have to try and finish the game. So, let's start on Chapter 1. The Death of Superman... Oh, so you can't play as Superman then, I guess. Wait, where are you? Hmm? Oh, wait. Please tell me I'm Alfred. You're not Alfred. Oh. That's a disappointment. I... Wait. Yeah. For some reason, it saw you as player one. Oh. Jesus Christ. EP's here. Hey, EP. <laughs> we thought we were done, but now there's more technical issues with the game. Wait, okay, the game thinks I'm playing with the keyboard, <laughs> which doesn't help. Useless fucking piece of shit laptop is going to get thrown across the goddamn room.
it remembered, oh, because we tried it on Akka's PC and it went, all right, how do you want everything set up? So we set it up and he went, okay, I'll remember. So we came over to my laptop and went, oh, I'll remember it now. Don't you worry about it. And what's happened? We've come over and it's gone, oh, you're not using the keyboard? I'm sorry. <sighs> right. I should have let you start setting this up instead of rolling. It's not your fault. No. I didn't really think we'd have this many issues. Neither did I, because I thought that, you know, setting things up would mean it works. Yeah. Whoops, right, wrong button. Right, so start this one. Right, now let's make sure yours are all right. Yeah, streaming on the PC can be a real nightmare. Oh yeah, tell me about it, EP. Here's the thing, this is all gone to shit. Friday the 13th was yesterday. <laughs> That's a good point. Like, nothing bad really happened yesterday. Not to either of us that I can think of. No. Ah, hold on. Okay, right. Hopefully this works. So it thinks you're player one, but it doesn't matter. Okay. So let's try this again, shall we? Also, EP, how's the sound? Can you hear us fine? I might have to turn the piece, the laptop down a little bit because the microphone is right next to the laptop because it's got nowhere else to be. So new game. Let's try this again. So, all right, so it recognizes me as this player. Okay. Now, you might not be able to join until the game starts. It was a little too loud, but it's okay. Yeah, we just turned the laptop down. Right, so I'm going to be Night Ving. Night Ving. Now, if you press Oops. start. There we go. There we go. Who would you like to be? Oh, there's only three options. Yeah, uh, during I'm... the campaign mode, your character's selection is limited, but when you complete the game, you can be anyone in any level. I'll be Batman. 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 Oh, okay, that was a thing. How do I come back? <laughs> Press that <laughs> button. There we go. Okay, that's my normal attack then. Okay. Uh... Wait, hang on, let me see you. Right. So not only has the controls not gone to what we assigned them to. I mean, I don't really remember what I assigned mine to. Yeah, but mine are like, like the X, Y, B, A on my controller. It's like the buttons have flipped upside down. So what I assigned to be jump is now Y instead of A. Oh, dear. But all seems to be working now. We'll have to go back in a second for food. All right, EP's going for food. All right, well, I'll have to adapt. That's not how you're supposed to do that, but it works. Using my noggin. <laughs> so this is new as well, because it used to be the tutorial was just you coming into this area from the very start, but it's now you running through the Wayne Manor to get to the Batcave. We're not so much running through as we are just, like, stalking through. So that's your tiny attack. Oh, shit, there's a robot there. I couldn't see him, for, to be honest. He's the bat butt. So he's a tiny button. So, yeah, so you've got tiny attacks like this, which use a tiny bit of your blue meter. Okay. And then you've got your big attacks, which use up half your meter. My big attack's that one, then. Yeah. The tiny attacks can be used when you're jumping as well. I keep accidentally pressing that one. Like, that's just my go-to button. But... How do I jump again? Like that. Oh, it won't let me through like that. I'll have to use my attack to do that. You'll have to dodge through. Dodge through? You remember when I was telling you the button to block? Oh, right, And then okay. you move. Oh, like... I thought you were just jumping through. So Batman do a cartwheel. Okay, I need to remember that's not my jump button. That's my jump button. So, early up. Oh, I can fly? <laughs> you glide. Okay, come down With such now, majesty. <laughs> come down now, please, Batman. <laughs> you just jump again. There you go.
Oh shit, I didn't see him. Me neither, to be honest. I'm just still trying to remember which button's which. Right, now this is the annoying bit. Mm -hmm. You have a super jump, but you, you can't just hold up and then jump. You have to push them both at the same time. Okay. Whee! I don't like that. Oh, but where did we go? I thought we jumped off something. No, keep moving, babe, because you're in the Batmobile. Somewhere. No, no you're not. not. <laughs> why, why am I not in the Batmobile? I'm so confused. You're supposed to be in a vehicle. He said, come on, Batman, hurry Should up, hurry up. No. Okay. Hurry up. Hurry up, Batman, hurry up. I love hurry up. Even hurry up. He's just like walking along. Like, well, yeah. if you double tap it, he runs. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. Right, hang on. Oh, shit. That was my glide one. Apparently, I haven't even got a pause button now. Have you? Hmm? You can't even pause the game. have to adapt because I was going to say can we go back to the menu and fix it but fix my controls but I can't even do that either because the pause button doesn't work right so super jump made it <laughs> I didn't I'm floating again don't worry about man I'll do it got to talk to Commissioner Gordon Whoever's watching right now, uh, keep, try and keep an eye on how many times I should have died because it will probably be a lot. In terms of how many times you should have died, I don't know. But we have I've four not... viewers at the minute. Hello, everyone. Hello. I've not been keeping an eye on like how often everything's going down. You can down. change character again now. Yay. So, see if I can show off some of the new ones. So, we've got Zatanna. She's new, I think. Red Tornado. Plastic Man was in it, Canary, Black Robin, Huntress, Superman. Oh, yeah. So, I, this isn't all the characters. The characters are limited when you're playing through the campaign, depending on what Zatana. level you're on. Zatanna's in it, yeah. But Red Tornado is new as well. I Supergirl, I think, is that. new. And I will be Red Tornado. Belly up. Wow, you can you harness the power of wind to make tornadoes? No, it's a birth defect. I can just spin my legs really fast. <laughs> nice. I didn't even mean to do that. I kept running. Ow! Oh shit. Fly, hot girl, fly! I'm trying to like jump onto the thing and it's not. Okay, apparently I can't jump onto there. I'm you... stuck. Oh, there we go. Oh, it's annoying with the flying characters because they don't double jump, so you can't get that extra height. You've got to do the super jump. Also, it doesn't help that all my uh, buttons are wrong. It also doesn't help that I can't remember all the buttons off the top of my head, so I'm literally just smashing them. Wait, what? Help. We're safe. Oh, I'm ended up indoors again. Ended up indoors again. push up and jump at the same time to do the super one I'm but trying. not when you're in the air that's just all it does I can't go any farther that's it that can't be right you try it there you go how did you do that she just, she just decided to do it oh no What's poison it? gas I'm stuck. 
Every day. I don't like playing this hot girl. Because she can't jump. Yeah. Because she's white. <laughs> there we go. Ah, God damn it, I pressed the wrong button to jump. There we go. Oh, you have to slightly press that first. It's not at the same time, though. Right. We've got to get up there to where the guy's shooting at us. Fuck him. There we go. <laughs> Let the golden skull on my chest be your guide. By which I mean do it from up here. There we go. Right, ready? Super jump. Ready? Super jump. There we go. Are you ready? On the edge. Super jump. Yep, you got it. Except I don't know. You might just have to fly over when you're up there. I, I can't fly for that long. Yeah, you can. I can't. You just jump again when you're in the air. No, I tried that and it won't let me just keep flying. Right. Super jump. I'm trying. Yeah, super jump. Now, when she does it, do it again. Jump. There you go, see? Do it from this roof, otherwise you're not going to make it. No, I know, I can't. There we go. Right, ready? Land. Uh. Right, ready? Super jump and fly. <laughs> Nearly had it. Do you want me to play it by myself? It's up to you. I'm just like really, really shit at these types of things. All right, I'll play it by myself. Yeah. You can offer commentary. Right, so hold on. Just resetting the game so I can play it one play with an AI partner. You can look at the chat and angry and talk to people. Hmm. Right, we all good? Yeah, we're ready to go. So now the reins have swapped. I'm going to try and sort these controllers out as well while I'm here. So control options. Here we go. So move up. I'm probably going to use your controller because it might just be that the Xbox controller is shit for on Windows. So I'm going to use the Switch one you were using. And the theme music is so loud as well on the menu. Nah, I would use the stick, but... No, I would use the D-pad, but it's not going to work. Because it's too stiff. New game campaign. Here we go. So, who should I be, babe? Is it for you? Give me some inspiration. Um, don't be Hawk Girl. Well, Hawk Girl's not here. Oh. I'll be Huntress. Who is Huntress? She is kind of like an anti-hero among the oh, DC. Oh. Because she's very violent, very angry. So she's like their version of Punisher. She's like the the alternative path that Batman could have gone down. Right. Is Batman not kind of like that anyway, though? Yeah. 
Oh, what's up? I like how you start in the back cave regardless of who you pick. Yeah, ZVito, if you're watching this on YouTube, there's something wrong with the control mechanisms. Because I put I signed one button to jump and it's not doing anything. The wrong button I assigned to jump is jumping. So, I mean, block's fine. I don't know why everything else is, is wrong. Is it still lining up to the ones that it says here, maybe? No, this is if you were playing with a keyboard. Oh, okay. I don't know then. All right. Whee! She got a motorbike. And it's pink. Because it's fabulous. Pink. Hey, there's Batman. Stealing the kills. Alright, so she doesn't glide, thankfully. Honestly, right, the amount of times I was testing this game yesterday to make sure it works and everything. Mm. They got so sick of seeing clowns. Clowns, clowns everywhere. Were you trying to turn that into a Mighty Boosh song? No. It sounded like it. I'd, I'd uh, scrimp, but I can't. Not off the top of my head. And just do the soup one. Soup. Soup, a soup, a tasty soup. Alright. I will be... Right, Red Tornado. See if we can get a good idea of how he works now. Although the Flash is one of my favourite characters to play in this game because he's so stupidly fast. Not necessarily strong though. Batman's lost. You think he's lucky for his parents? <laughs> <laughs> Just never live down the fact they're gone. Where are they? Where are they? Where's my mom and dad? So you're not like DC at all? I like DC, I just don't know as much about it as I do about Marvel. I don't either. But I think the only reason you're liking Marvel is because you want to see Bucky and Steve get That's together. That's true. I, I liked Marvel before that. I liked it, um, I think... Oh, wrong one. Like when I really, really got into Marvel was when my cousin showed me the, the first Avengers movie. Mm-hmm. Well, I liked it before then, just I wasn't crazy about it. Is there any other Marvel films you like? Or comics or anything like that? Um, I... I read... When I was really, like, really, really into Loki, I read all of the Agent of Asgard comics. As was every other woman at the time. Yes, as was everyone at the time. Not even just women, just everyone was just fucking thirsty for Loki, okay? The Loki first is real. I don't make the rules. Um, I read all of Agent of Asgard and Original Sin. I read some of the old Thor comics as well. That's, uh, I read some of the, not like the super old ones as well, but I read um, whichever series it was that Lady Loki came into, and oh my god, yes, I'm just like, yes, <laughs> please bring Lady Loki into the MCU at some point. That would be Oh, amazing. Batman. What was I going to say? Some, oh yeah, did you ever see that Graham Norton show where um, he showed him the Loki Yow, uh, hentai? Possibly. Was it Tom Hiddleston? It was Tom Hiddleston. Yeah, I think I've seen that, actually. Yeah, it, he showed him some hentai of Loki because Loki had 
done a stunt in the film where he spins around on a pole oh, to kick this Thor. Oh, You know, like, a few people actually drew him like that. Like, yeah, it became no. a bit of a thing. He <laughs> showed him one of the drawings. <laughs> I remember that going round. I remember that being a thing. It was kind of like, it wasn't the same thing, but it reminds me a bit of the Hawkeye Initiative. Yeah. Where people were just I remember redrawing. you showed me the Hawkeye Initiative. <laughs> You're just redrawing Hawkeye in ridiculous poses that uh, female superheroes do and like um, characters and stuff in comics. I think the one I mainly remember is the one that Mary Jane does from Spider-Man where she's like squatting on her bed with her boobs right out. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't it like his face and a heart or something as well on her oh, t-shirt? I can't remember. I can't remember. It was just like the pose. Especially considering she was supposed to just be at home on her own, just chilling in a bedroom. You would not make that pose like that is... <laughs> not unless you're doing a fans only. Yeah, like, yeah like, that's the kind of thing you do for like a model shoot or something, like an underwear model shoot. <laughs> what are you talking about? This is how I always relax with my yeah, bus exactly. sticking out of my arse in the air. I think it goes along with that whole uh, men draw men writing women thing where they just don't really <laughs> understand how women work. I do wonder if there's like a reverse to that. It's like women oh, who write yeah. male characters and all they do is sit at home Absolutely. watch sport. No, no, not even just that. Like I think I think the um the alternative like equivalent to that would be like broody guys so Rude. sort of like edward cullen -esque yeah. men. <laughs> i think that is the um that's the like the uh, women's version of women writing men thing i just think it's weird that you could look at edward cullen and make christian gray out of him <laughs> oh my god yeah oh my god how did we get here? Because we have to talk about something during no, this stream, babe. No, I just mean in 2020. Ugh. How did we get to where we are? From, like, going from a few years ago where, like, Fifty Shades wasn't a thing and we were all so much happier. You really hate Fifty Shades. Yeah. I mean, you've shown me it and I've seen why people would hate it. I think my main issue with it, like, to be honest, I wouldn't have an issue with it if it had been marketed as erotic fiction. It's the fact that it was marketed as a romance novel. And it's like, it's a really abusive relationship. It so is. when you've got, like, young, like, you know, like, younger women reading it thinking that's a good thing. It's like when you see people going, oh, I want a relationship like Joker and Harley. Oh, there yeah. goes the penguin. There goes Danny DeVito. <laughs> That's another thing that gets me as well, is, like, Joker and Harley, as far as I know, were never really, like, they were never purposefully portrayed as relationship goals or anything. Like, no. especially not in the cartoons. Kite I'm not, Man! I'm not sure about Suicide Squad, actually, but because we only really got it from her point of view. But, especially in the cartoons, they were always portrayed as, like, you do not want this as a relationship. Like, this is horrible. Yeah, because some of the shit Joker has pulled on Harley is really cruel. I think she died in, like, I think he killed her in, like, three different ways, or almost killed her. Like, they were almost deaths or something, but I'm not super sure. I remember, like, there was this really controversial, like, contest that DC did a while ago where they wanted artists to basically draw Harley um, in these situations where she almost died, and I think a few of them were because of Joker. Which makes sense, because Joker. Yeah. Kite Man won't stay still. I think I'm just going to keep throwing tornadoes at him. Oh, there he is. This is new as well. There wasn't a boss here before, and it wasn't Kite Man. Well, of course not, because that would imply there was a boss here before. What the fuck? I'm trying to punch Batman. Oh, he probably deserves a slap anyway. Yeah. There is... Do you remember when I told you about those, like, Marvel and DC crossovers that they did? Vaguely. I just find it really weird that that happened at all, considering the history that the two companies have with each other. Like, they are... They've never really been on good terms. I don't know about now, but, like, back when they were first created, because we learned about it in university. Hmm. 
Like, um, I think the, the people who created Marvel, like, I don't know if it was Stanley himself or, like, the art, some of the artists, but they were originally, like, uh, unhappy DC employees. I've just found pause. It's not the button I assigned. It's way <laughs> off. Oh, my God. Uh, what was... But... What I was going to say was that one of the crossovers is Batman. Uh, this isn't the one that some people recognise where uh, the crossover was two heroes just mould together to make a new one. Because mm. in that universe, it was Batman and Wolverine okay. who made something called Nightclaw or something like that. And no one liked him because he was like eight shades of snarling all the time, as he was described. Uh, honestly, like, I think the best DC crossover is the Scooby-Doo movie. Unironically. Yeah, but you say that for Supernatural as well. <laughs> uh, no, Scooby Natural was great. Was that the name of it? Anyway, we don't really talk about Supernatural in 2020 because, like... Because Destiel. Oh, Destiel's canon now, and they fucked it up really badly. For those of you who don't know, could you please explain what Destiel is and why to. they buggered it up? Oh, well, yeah, because okay. not everyone who's watching this is going to know if anyone. I don't think anyone's really going to be interested, to be honest, if they clicked on a DC fighting game and I start talking about Supernatural and gay things. Uh, essentially, Supernatural was a show. It's a show that was very, very popular uh, a few years ago. It's still got a bit of a fan base going. Um, I stopped watching it a few years ago. I just kind of lost interest but a, th a thing happened recently where two of the ah. characters were very very much shipped by their fans and it was like uh it uh, how do i word gay um, it was gay definitely it was uh one of the main characters and an angel in the show called castiel and everyone was really, really hoping that they would get together because the writers kept queer baiting everyone. They kept dropping hints <laughs> that they did. They kept dropping hints. And that I, they I'm would... just laughing at the term queer oh, baiting. Queer baiting. Well, they would. They kept. Oh, Batman died. Dropping subtle ideas that this might be a possibility. Oops. Um. Sort of. I think it was last week. Now they finally, they finally had Castiel confess to Dean, and Dean was just a bit of a blank slate. And then he was immediately killed off and sent to Turbo Hell. <laughs> Turbo you know, Hell. Bury your gays. We can't have an active gay character in a show, can we? Alright. So, the fans got what they want, and they were greatly no, disappointed. No, the well, fans it didn't wasn't... get what they want, really. The fans, the fans wanted, like, an actual... Uh, an actual relationship that was a good gay representation what they got instead was like a gay angel saying I love you Dean and then immediately dying <laughs> I love you Dean I don't know if there was more going on behind the scenes and stuff of the right for the writers I don't know if there was more going on beside behind the scenes for the actors but just what they brought out wasn't the best right it's just setting up the controller again because it might be because it's plugged into a, um... But now it thinks it's player free. What? Jesus Christ. Can nothing... <laughs> can anything please go right today? See, it really does not understand that up is not down on the controller. See, look, I push up on the controller. It's saying down. I just have the wheel to stick up. Right, I'm going to try quitting the game out. Which is annoying because I want to advertise this game because the creator of this game is very talented and very passionate. But when I'm advertising it and it can't even get the control scheme right, it doesn't say much, does it? Is anyone even still watching at this point? Oh, uh, we've got four viewers. Well, I know one will be Chrissy because she's lurking because she's shopping. Oh, yes. One ZP because he's gone to get food. I don't know who the other two are. Uh, if you guys feel like comfortable enough, feel free to post in the chat and we'll, we'll talk to you about whatever. Be interactive. Let us know your thoughts. Do you like Castiel and Dean <laughs> dating? You know what? Let's move on from the Destiel thing. But you it... like talking about the gay. 
I like talking about the gay. I think like what made me laugh about that was that it was during the American election and everyone was waiting for the results and we found out that Dick Steele became canon before we found out about that. Oh, I hate it so much. So wait a minute, hold on. So I think the buggers is the buggers. I think the controls are still bugged. Now I'm gonna just jump into a level. I really do think that this is our Friday the thirteenth. Yeah. It's catching up with us. This has been a really weird live stream so See, far. Now it thinks the punch button is to move down. And now I can't even move at all. For fuck's sake. Babe, should we just give up and put Stardew on? Um, I don't know. It's up to you guys. Like, eh? Because honestly, right, I'm pushing all the buttons on my controller. It stopped working. Wait, does it now think it's this controller? Yes. For some reason, it's now swapped controllers. I just thought you wanted to show this game off. I wanted to show this game off, but it's not helping because the fucking control schemes aren't working. Oh, dear. I thought but, uh, Superman was supposed to be dead in this. Oh, no, he's not dead yet. The oh, death okay. is coming, don't you worry about it. And the game still feels too loud, even when I've got the volume turned down. Well, these are more tolerable controls. So where were we? Oh yes, Destiel. Stop bringing up Destiel. <laughs> All right. Uh, Putin. Putin. I don't know, because we also found out on that day Putin was supposed to be resigning. Oh, I think that was a. I think that was um. A what's it? A but rumor. then, the, yeah, yeah, a rumor of fabrication or something like that. It yeah. turned out to be. I oh god. Know, I don't understand why that rumor started. To be honest, so much happened in that day. Yeah, and then the moon cracked as well. Oh shit! Yeah, the moon, the moon's cracking. The no, it's, the moon's not cracking. The moon's had a moon quake, which has now revealed new information about the moon. But you know, shit stirs and fear mongers yeah. go. Oh no, the moon's breaking. <laughs> do you remember the moon? Because now wet? they found water on the moon yeah, because of remember, that. Do you remember like the moon is wet? Tweet. No. <laughs> that I think that was like. I don't know whether that's how they posted it, probably not, but like, someone basically took the article and just summed it up as Moon is wet. Moon is wet. Whee! We found, a, we found a pretty much proof of alien life on Venus as well this year. Well, wasn't it like microscopic life form it's that's still proof of alien life? Oh no, I'm not denying it. I'm saying that it's it's only like cell sized oh, life, yeah, yeah. but it is proof that there is life on but another now, planet. Now, like when people say there's no such thing as aliens, they don't have a leg to stand on because there is. <laughs> You're just disappointed that they're not Urkins. I'm disappointed they're not Urkins. Honestly, 2020's been so bad. If the, if this place did get invaded, that wouldn't even be the worst thing. <laughs> You'd be like... It's like, the aliens would come out of the spaceship and go, we're here to take over your planet, and we'd all just go, you know what? Fucking have it. You remember that t-shirt that was like, in this... I can't remember the exact phrasing, but it was like, at this point, it doesn't look like such a bad idea to give power to the tallest. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I was wheezing at that. Tallest! <laughs> oh, I'm flying somehow. Batman, do things. Punch Danny DeVito, please. Because he keeps jumping away for a tiny man. He's outrunning Superman. A tiny man, known as the Penguin, is outrunning Superman. A good point. A good point. Good oh, point. there he goes. Well made. 
freeze. Oh, I picked him up. And then I should be able to just bend him in half with my butt cheeks, but I don't have that kind of Superman power in here. <laughs> I really, I really wish that was one of his powers. Is this me now? One day I'm going to see that you're randomly drawn Superman bending something in half with his ass cheeks <laughs> as a shit post. Listen, if I was going to draw anyone bending something in half with their ass cheeks, it'd be Steve. <laughs> I am a Marvel fan. A Marvel fan you are. Is there anyone else in Marvel you ship? That you ship? Yeah. I don't want to go into my Marvel ships. So they're all gay? They're all gay. Well, to be fair, God. actually, when when I when I first saw the movies, I did kind of ship Hawkeye and Black Widow. Clear. But then they kind of like... I don't know. So I it just died, didn't it? Yeah, well, it died when the one came out where... Which one was it where they sort of had her with Hulk? Uh, was that the one with Ultron in it? Yeah, yeah, that one. Um... Oh god, you can tell that I've not actually watched any of the late MCU movies. <laughs> I've seen, but I've not watched. Yeah, like, to be honest, I'm scared to watch Infinity War Part 2, whatever it's called. I'm, I'm honestly terrified to watch that movie. But, but only because you know that people are dying in it. I know people are dying. I'm still hurt from the first part of it. <laughs> yeah. I've not got Steve. over Steve! Oh. If ever I want to piss off my girlfriend, I just look at my hand and go, Steve! No, no. That's not even the worst one now, to be honest, because I know that Bucky survives. I think the worst one for me now is Loki, because he was he was a fan favourite and they killed him off in like ten minutes. But that wasn't in that film. That was in that film. A lot of people died in that film. In Endgame, Loki has died the one before that. No, yeah, um, but he died oh. in he died in the same one where that you're referencing with Bucky. Uh oh. Oh, I thought the game had crashed. It's just a lot of people died in that movie. Oh yeah, a lot of people did die. And some aren't coming back, Tony. Yeah. I think Marvel at one point said we, it'll be a long time before we put l that many superheroes in one film it, again. And I was like, is it because it cost a fucking fortune? Yeah. Well, it the thing that gets me about it, though, is they were doing so well. Like, they had a really good story going. And then they just kind of, like, killed off so many of, like, their big-name characters so quickly. And now, like, a lot of them are gone for good. Like, Steve's not going to be coming back. Tony's not going to be coming back. Loki's not going to be coming back. And, like, they were all pretty much fan favourites. Yeah. But now the question is, like... Who's going to be the next generation of superhero movies? Because yeah, the only one we've re the only ones we've really had set up as new heroes are like Ms. Marvel, who isn't that popular. Who isn't doing seen. so well because of Brie Larson's um, attitude. She's not very popular from what I've seen. Like I've I've seen some people really really like her, but I've not actually seen the movie, so I can't comment. Well, the movie is hit and miss. It's meh. Uh, that's the general opinion I've heard. It's meh. Yeah. But it's just there's a, a few moments in it that are like really kind of thing. Okay. Um, and and then... also Brie Larson's attitude hasn't helped with the film's mm. popularity either. And then um, Spider-Man. Um, is there anyone else they've set up as like a new hero in like this generation? It's going to sound horrible to say, but I think Black Panther was going to be one of them. But unfortunately, we lost the actor this year. To cancer oh, which is very sad yeah that is very very sad God. it's bane bane uh but let's see who else could we have i think the x-men are due something i mean like they've got first class which is all right but maybe something i know but they're proper. not gonna be they're not gonna be like continuing the mcu that was the that was like a different universe I yeah isn't it fantastic four are yet to have a decent film liked the original ones you know like the the, the original ones when i was what, with chris evans in it yeah i thought they were good i didn't i know people talk shit about them but i honestly don't really see the issue like they're cheesy but so are all the other superhero movies they're, they're superhero movies they're meant to be cheesy yeah but i'm not thing is with marvel i think there's a kind of standard that comes with the films mm. that it's like yeah they're a bit cheesy and maybe a bit hokey but there's also like a gray area of morality that goes on with it mm. 
whereas, well, this is the thing I was talking to my big sister about. We were discussing about why we think Marvel does better than DC in terms of the cinematic world, oh, and we yeah, think absolutely. it's because Marvel is more relatable in a sense because yeah. dc's morality is very black and white it's like no matter what you never kill someone else whereas like in the marvel world it's like you might not like it but the best thing to do is kill this guy to save the world you know what i i think the main reason is honestly due to their comedy because like when you watch dc movies apart from wonder ah! woman which had its wonder moments woman. i feel like a lot of the dc movies are just very dark and everything's very serious yeah and there's Brood. not really a lot of comedy whereas marvel it, they were a lot easier to watch like but I, to be honest i feel that's another reason they've screwed themselves over a little oh, no. bit with um the infinity war storyline because even with the bits of comedy that are in it they've still just killed off a lot of characters and they've gotten incredibly serious with that plot line and stuff and so it's like i don't know i don't feel that fun loving ha like fun-loving vibes that I used to get from it, you know? Yeah. Well, like, I could get into the angst behind the Marvel storylines. I could watch The Winter Soldier and cry my eyes out, but I'd still be laughing at, like, stuff that Steve and Natasha were getting up to, you know? I know. Yeah. I f yeah, maybe that's another reason as well, is that the characters are more developed with each other. Yeah, they definitely have stronger relationships, yeah, I think. Yeah, that's like, the word I were looking for. This is another thing, like, I came out of Wonder Woman, and, like, yeah, it's fantastic we have a superhero movie that stars a female superhero, and, a, like, you know, all of that shizzle. Mm, but, shizzle. But the thing is, I still Teeth. came out of it, I still came out of that movie wishing that I'd just rewatched Captain America. And I think one of my main reasons for that was because the background characters in that were all kind of just stereotypes, as hard as that, as harsh as that sounds. Like, they're all just kind of there to be background characters. Whereas, like, the Howling Commandos and Bucky and, like, and, um, what's it, Howard Stark, they were really well-developed characters in the first Captain America movie. Mm. Like, you could... They, they all had, like, different relationships with each other and you could feel that a lot stronger than you could in wonder woman yeah it just kind of feels like when dc make a film they're like how do we make a film this is how we do it right at least i do like wonder woman because at least it wasn't shot completely in the dark what like batman yeah like batman and suicide <sighs> squad i feel like i couldn't really see what was happening like 50 percent of the time because everything was so dark can you imagine if like gal gadot was trying to put on a tough woman voice like christopher nolan's batman voice <laughs> <Why do women? laughs> i'm half wondering if we're gonna like if people come and watch this stream later which we're just they won't get are we just gonna get like a bunch of comments like no you're how wrong dare you? <laughs> Ooh, harley and the joker yes hey. i do like though with the joker's palette it's like that's the one we recognize but this one is from the adam west series yeah that's cool very, very the very very camp adam west series <laughs> which is amazing in its own right do you know do you know which version of the joker is the best lego joker I haven't seen the Lego Batman film. <laughs> I, I totally forgot it existed until just now for some reason, but, like, it is legitimately very good. Why? What's so good about it? I, I mean, what, it what's just... so good about the Lego Joker? I don't, to be honest, I wasn't being serious. Like, he is a very oh. good Joker, though. Mark is... Hamill is best Joker. He is a very good Joker. Well, he's the best voice Joker, but Heath Ledger is the best acting Joker. Oh, yeah. Like... To be honest, I've not. I've only seen a bit of the Batman movies, but I did like Heath Ledger in them. He was he really was, good. It's just was, a shame that he he had to die shortly. Yeah. After. I say he had to, as if like the Reaper just went right. You get one more film, and that's it. Yeah. Oh God. I think um, what really got me about his Joker was how intimidating he was. Yeah. And just like the way, just pulling off creepy really well. Yeah. Flash died. Meanwhile, the Joker and his Joker van will save the day. Psychotic as he looks down there. Yeah. Oh, Flash is alive. 
I also like that. You won't recognize this, but the crowbar thing that... No, the lead pipe crow... Yes, yeah, crowbar that um, Joker's got is the crowbar that he beats Robin near to death with. That swagger walk he's got, though. Like, that, that reminds me of the Michael Jackson walk. Yeah, he's a confident man. If there's one thing you can say about some of the DC villains is that they have got charisma. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Like... I think DC probably does villains better than Marvel do. I will say that. I feel like their villains are a lot more memorable. Yeah. And more well known. Mark Hamill once said, while he was playing the Joker, he's like, he doesn't understand. He He's not against it, but he just doesn't understand how someone who, are, who has the persona of a bat works so well with someone who has the persona, persona of a clown. Yeah, that's a good point. Like, I guess usually when you have um, Merlin. characters that are supposed to be Who's like... Who's Merlin? Merlin. Oh, oh, apparently he's Black Green Arrow. Yeah. I guess usually when you have characters that are like that on much of a parallel with each other, they usually have something in their design that says so. I thought about when it. It's like maybe, maybe it's because they're both things that people are afraid of. Bats and clowns. Yeah. Although, in Bat's oh. case, it's probably more like rodents, but... Yeah, like... People are afraid of clowns. People are afraid of bats, but I don't think it's necessarily something you always think of. Like, when it comes to fears. Well, God. Well, I wonder if, um... When Batman was first created... I wonder if Joker was created like as the first villain to go along with him. I wonder if there was another villain. The annoying thing is I think I know who his first villain was, but now I can't remember. I should probably know that from university, to be honest, but I don't. Did you ever see Batman's rainbow suit? No. Batman has a... well, probably doesn't anymore, but back when he was... I think he was in Detective Comics, there was a plot he'd come up with that's, where, he's, um, he's still in Detective Comics. That's what DC stands for. Well, when it was actually just called Detective yeah, Comics, I not just mean. DC. Um, he came up with a plot to try and confuse the criminals by wearing different coloured suits every night. Oh, so EP's he had... back. Hey, EP's back. Hi, EP. What does he say? He's like, I thought, I always thought he was Batman because he works in the shadows. Shadow. You're possibly right. We, we've been talking absolute shit and just sort of to ourselves, so I don't think anyone's really been paying any attention to yeah. the conversation. You missed all the gay talk. Yeah, I, we were talk. Zach made me talk about gay things and on Destiel, the stream. But you like Destiel. You've been wanting that for ages. I like... Well, yeah, I like Destiel. I, not, I don't care about it as much now as I did when I was younger, when I was really into Supernatural. Hey, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. So Batman has these different colour suits, like a green, a blue, and a red, and all that stuff. Yeah. And the idea is he's meant to confuse criminals with them somehow, and I don't know how. <laughs> but then he has a rainbow one. I love it. Does he wear it at Pride? Oh, I, I maybe it's meant to do with Pride, but the weird thing is that when he does put this suit on, he starts making a load of double entendres. Like, right. is that a gun in your pocket, or are you just happy to see me <laughs> kind of thing? Oh my god, you're a to him me this. Yeah, there's a panel of him punching someone in the face, and he says, like, I hope that's a gun in your pocket or something like that. Oh, I'm bleeding. Is that because you were scratching your leg so hard? Yeah, I wasn't scratching it hard. I think I had, like, a scab or something. Um, I'm all about gay Batman. <laughs> I'm here for that. Oops. I run this, bitch. I didn't get him. Hold on. I think EP just tried to ban the bot from the stream. We're getting so many bots on our streams. We only had two, but we've had one for one so now, for now. Ban hammer engage. Are they not supposed to be that common? According to Google, the first villain uh, to Batman was Alfred Stryker. No idea who that is. No, I didn't. Well, just saying he needed banning. Yes. I saw the crown next to EP's name and I was thought, oh, he'll take care of it, but no, he won't because he's not a moderator or anything. Right, I'll keep What's it here. What's the crown mean? Uh, they've got Prime. Ah. Twitch Prime. All right, so hold on again. So EP, remind me, it's slash ban. Yeah, there it is. Slash ban G Cooper. 
G. Cooper, 017. The crown is Twitch Prime. Yeah, there we go. Thank you, EP, for clarifying. All right. Uh, Cyborg. So we got Jesse Quick, who's the female Flash. Although, <laughs> fun fact, for though, if Nathan's watching, he'd recognize that that stance is the same one that Blaze has from Streets of Rage. Right, why is it that um, you picked a character out for... And, um, oh, that was it, Huntress. Like, a minute, one minute she was wearing, like, um, you know, the skimpier version, and then the minute you clicked on her, she switched to, like, the catsuit version. Is it just random? I chose the catsuit one. Oh, did you? Oh, yeah. okay. I thought that was just, like, random or something. Look at her go. Although, there is a feature that ZV Tours removed, which I'm kind of disappointed by, but it's not a big thing. When you were playing a character who runs at light speed like this in these levels, whenever they would move, like I would make them move, the game would slow down to simulate they're going faster than light. Oh, that's really cool. But it's not doing that anymore. But I think it's because in these levels it was really hard to, it really easy to get an extra life when that happened. I guess it could also be because if you were playing a fast character and player two was playing like a non-fast character, it could probably be a bit more weird for yeah. them. Yeah. Although, if like player two playing as Batman means he's in the Batmobile at this point, so the Batmobile suddenly being able to go faster than light or as fast as the Flash. Yeah. Imagine. Oh, everyone's knocked out. Aquaman's back here. Vixen. Although Vixen doesn't look injured, more like she's posing. Yeah, Vixen looks like she's doing a pose. Green Lantern's made himself a hunt, uh, thing for his armor cast. <laughs> a sling, whatever. Flash has fallen over, and Green Arrow is just adamant to stare at that leg <laughs> i like to think that flash wasn't injured no. either he just tripped on his way over there <laughs> oh wow yeah we get better see what her powers are so her superpower well no i've just used the super one so she's got a flip kick in the air she's got something hold on a powered punch and if i can grab one an uppercut and then her big power you didn't see it but it was like she runs across the world like three times i did see a comic once like a parody comic of like the superpowers that people have got but then the drawbacks to them who the fuck is that but it's like idea. for flash yeah it's a cloister apparently but for flash it's like he can run faster than light but he can't see fa flash faster than light so does that mean while he's running, he can't see anything? He's pretty much blind when he can't ah, see. Yeah. Oh my god! Oh, imagine if you told him to like run to a certain area and he just ended up in the wrong direction completely. He couldn't see where he was going. Yeah. Vixen looks like she's getting ready to be on the cover of Vogue. Vogue, or oh, the parody version, Vague. Vague. Uh, what was the other thing I've seen? Oh, there were other superpowers as well that had like a drawback to them. For Superman, I think it was a case of like, you could fly, but if you stop, you fall to the ground. So you have to keep flying like oh, a wait, shark. Oh wait, so these aren't canon then? These aren't canon. I but... thought for a minute Flash Flashes was like canon. No, it would be funny. But these are like drawbacks you, you don't think about. And right. you go, hey, wait a minute. Yeah. Yeah. Like, imagine Superman's ice breath freezes his throat as it comes out. Oh. Well, he blinds himself every time he uses heat ray. At, whenever Aquaman talks to fish, he can't understand what he's saying. But I can talk to fish, <laughs> but they can't talk back. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to think of some other stupid ones. You see, we should probably ask EP for some ideas about... Because, the was it you... We wanted the vendor in your D&D &D campaign that sells magic items, but they're all useless. Oh, yeah. What were some of the ones? Like, I remember... The only one I remember... Oh, wait. You've come up with the lockpick that every time you successfully <laughs> lockpick something, your pants fall down. Yes! <laughs> Mine oh. was the night vision goggles that only work during the day. Yeah. Um, did you get that, that EP? So the idea is like um, cursed magical items in a D&D &D universe that sort of like have a backfire effect in some silly little way like they they work they just don't necessarily work the way they're meant to like a hand grenade that, that works as soon as you pull the pin out 
Ah uh, yes, the, the lockpick that unlocks trousers. Yeah, that was the point. The lockpick meant for unlocking chastity belts. <laughs> oh, if you had a flirty... Like, that would be great for a bard, actually, wouldn't it? Or a flirty rogue. Oh, we were playing D&D once with some friends and... Uh, we had to, a short story is we had to come up with this plan while me and the monk snuck in round the back while this mansion was having a party. And the paladin, you know, the paladins, the pinnacles of good, he went, I know, I'll pretend to be a stripper. You know what? Well, the paladin in, like, the first campaign I was really in, the paladin was also like that in ours. Like, the, he was meant to be, like, um, the pinnacle of, like, good and everything, but he was constantly the one, like, hey guys, let's fuck. Yo, guys, let's fuck. <laughs> I don't think we had a bard in that campaign. My character was like the hoe, TM. The hoe. <laughs> what, telemarketed? The telemarketed yes. hoe? Yeah. Oh. She was like, she was the hoe of the group. Hey, babe, I got... Did you take care of him? Ready? Wiggle, 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 wiggle. EP's like, I've never played D&D &D and know very little about it. That's because he lives under a rock. EP, I'm thinking of running a game eventually, possibly on, like, Discord or something. So if you'd be up for that, you can totally join my campaign. Ah, <laughs> oh, the jumping. I forgot that the jumping's a bit tricky. Right. Huh. Huh. Oh, there he goes. What architect for? Do you know what we should do? We should build a skyscraper, but put odd ledges on the side of Good it. point. Like, it's not even like the window ledges, is it? What well, why are you wanting to do that? Well, it might break the fall of someone who's trying to commit suicide. Maybe. Wouldn't we just rather have it, like, a big wall on top so they can't climb off? Nah. Ooh. Oh, no. Bye. Bye, Zatanna. Hey, EP's in. EP's in what? Oh, right. Like he said, he's in for my campaign. Right. I was talking about it recently with another friend, so I think I might try and like write some more ideas down for it and maybe come up with a time to run it. What race is EP going to be? What race would EP be? Yeah. Uh, he doesn't know very much about D&D, &D, so I can't comment what race. If I knew D&D, oh, if, if I knew... Hey! Da, 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 da. Somehow she's, I just feel like she's got, dressed She's molesting for this. the flag. Oh no. I feel like she's very much dressed for this right yeah. now though. Everyone salute the gay pride. Where's Ash when you need him? Yeah, where it wasn't Ash meant to be coming along to Ash this. is meant to be coming along, he's probably asleep. Ah. Yeah, I don't know my choices. Um I mean I could just list out ah! the normal ones, but ah! then you've got all you've also got the ones that come in the oh, no. other books as well and like I'm open for homebrews. I don't know if that would be a good idea since you've never played before, though. I have two Zatanas. <laughs> now I can make love to myself. The the gen the general ones are um, humans, elves, half elves, half orcs, dragonborn, halflings, and gnomes. I think those are all the ones that you get in the player handbook. Now name how many you can remember from that list you just spouted off. <laughs> You also get other ones in other books like Furbolgs and um It's where EP goes, I have no idea Tritons. what any of those are. Oh and Tieflings, I forgot about Tieflings. Yeah, uh you're probably just better off looking this up in your own time, EP, because you're not gonna remember any of this from me just like spouting words at you. Manchester Black. Whee! What would that be my superhero name? He's still just as annoying the first time I fought him. Who? Manchester oh, Black. shit, I didn't even see the name up there. I thought you just ran... I thought you were, like, making another joke about my accent. No. Dirty mank that you are. <laughs> just keep firing balls at him. I have to show you a picture of uh, Rainbow Batman. Although, funnily enough, in the Lego Batman games, you can actually download that costume for free. Rainbow Makes Batman. Sense. I bet it was probably something they did for Pride or something. Uh-oh, I've like got 13 lives. Especially if it was a free one. I keep pushing the wrong button, so I just keep jumping at and going, Hit me! Hit me instead! I'm going to just Harry Potter him, Harry Potter wizard duel him, see if that, while Wonder Woman is trying to punch his face. Oh. I think I got him. I think you, it looked like you got Wonder Woman. 
Girl power. Bunny! I want a team up in one of these games that's just Harley and Poison Ivy. Uh, maybe I'll make Poison Ivy, Poison Ivy available. But right now we're dealing with Lex Luthor. Well, we will as soon as I can see him. Stupefy, he says. Stupefy. What's stupefy? A spell? I don't know. Unless EP is just now yelling random words at us. <laughs> Stupefy! Explain! <laughs> Oh, I think that he's just yelling out what um, Zatanna's spell is. Stupefy! Oh, oh, right, okay. It's not, but still. I could be wrong. Maybe her spell is just... Asparagus! Asparagus. Just yell out... Ra oh, yeah. He's either yelling out more spell names or just words now. But imagine if, like, she just raised her wand and just went, Death. <laughs> Death. <laughs> she hit him. Zack said he was Harry potter in it, so I went for Stupefy. Stupefy! I, really I don't really remember a lot about Harry Potter. Considering how much... Like Apart from J.K. Rowling is changing the lore every week. Don't... Yeah, don't Hermione, she potter. identifies as a beaver. <laughs> and and <laughs> on every level except physical, she is a wolf. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, just... I think what got me mainly about that was that she just kind of wrote herself into a corner and then t came out with like a bunch of transphobic tweets and everyone was just kind of oh, like fuck. oh what's wrong here. with his face oh it's looking to the side that's his tiny ear there I didn't see what these transphobic ones were oh I'll show you later I don't really want to go into no it come on let's say him on twitch we won't get in trouble <laughs> If you repeat a racist comment, doesn't mean you condone it. <laughs> Let's be Harley. Remember, I can't remember them off the top of my head. I just know that some of them were pretty like, ooh. This is my favourite look of Harley, the uh, the two-tone jester Very costume. Very cute. Mr. J! Oh, wait, she's in a vehicle, I think. Yeah, she is. She's in a... Of course, Haley, Haley, Harley's famous green helicopter, which I think has the Riddler symbol on the side of it. Oh. Is it something she steals from him at some point? I don't know. She steals probably, a lot. Probably a reference that we don't know about. Yeah. Green Lantern's here as well in his Gundam. <laughs> uh, just thinking about it, because the Green Lantern rings, they say that the limits of those rings is just the user's imagination. Mm -hmm. So I can't help but think there's a lot of childlike fights that happened between them. It's like, oh yeah, well I use big hammer. Oh yeah, well I use bigger hammer. Oh yeah, well I use biggest hammer. Well I use bigger than biggest hammer. Oh my god. Well I use big hammer infinity. Infinity plus one. But then you just make all sorts of weird weapons with them as well, wouldn't you? It's like, this is my shoe on a stick. It will stamp out your existence. I kind of wish we just had, like, a big crossover series, like a cartoon or something, that was just all of the Marvel characters, like, from every Marvel universe, just being idiots with each other. Well, EP, what's he saying? I literally destroyed her own reputation for um, over a few days for no real reason. Yeah, exactly. Uh, JK was so... A lot of this has been bleeped out. I don't know, I don't know why it's bleeped that. out. JK was so mm, with that. The stuff mm, started with mm, could have easily gotten away with it, but then mm, doubled down on it and got stupider and stupider with it. Yeah, yeah, she did. Uh, JK is not looking good right now, guys. JK the joke. Yeah, JK the joke. She was, I wouldn't say the word mm, is bleeped out. Yeah, it is. I wouldn't say she destroyed her reputation Why? over a few days. I'd say she was slowly destroying it over a few years, to be honest. Like, uh, she started just changing the lore in her own thing to, like, try and look more appealing to yeah. people who were... She tried, like, she was, She started making characters gay. She started trying to say Hermione had always been black. Even what? though... Yeah, yeah, I did not know about this. Like, apparently she wrote 
like I think someone said that she specified at some point what Hermione's hair colour was, but then Ginger? I've also No, that's not right. I've also heard people say that she specifically never described her so that you could so that any girl reading it could could just sort of picture herself there. Mm. So I've heard both versions, but then apparently she came out a while ago and set, specified that Hermione was always supposed to be black. And, like, people basically just called her out on it and said, you're just kind of saying that to get, like, um, what's it, props with the uh, yeah. people. What's the other term? Virtue signaling? Oh, yeah, that's it. Like, you're just trying to, you're just trying to, like, do it props for representation and stuff without actual representation. I can't pause the game, EP. Otherwise, but I'd be trying to figure out why hmm is censored. It's, apparently, it's bleeping out the word stupid. Stupid. Yeah, he literally just said the word is literally stupider, but without the er. Why is that censored? Right. Stupid is now a bad word. Because it could offend people. Uh, right. EP, you might know this. On where will I go on Twitch to fix that? Do it later. Is it is it important now? We know what he's saying now. Cunt, is that censored? Oh, I, hang on. Not come up on I my will chat. allow cunt. Yeah, it's censored on my chat, EP. Oh, there we go. I will now use the term cunt. No, it's censored on mine as well. No, but here, babe, look. Oh. I have now allowed the term cunt to it's be used. It's not uncensored, it though. That's because. Well, try saying cunt again. Say it for yourself. See what happens. <laughs> Someone in the chat say cunt. Okay, EP, say it again. See if it gets censored. I can't believe stupid got censored. This would be nice. See, this is why I need a moderator because I don't know how Twitch entirely works yet, but whenever a word comes up, I need someone on there to be able to say, yeah. yes, this one is allowed. I mean, I'd be, I could be a moderator if you were streaming and I was just watching like this, I guess. Yeah. But I don't know how to make you a moderator. I don't know ah. if you can do anything with your phone. I don't know. Type cunt into the chat, see if it's uncensored. Look, you said worse to me. Yeah, it's uncensored. Right. Yeah, it might be worth turning off the automated after the stream. It's pretty rubbish. Auto mod, even. Oh, the auto mod. Oh, the okay. auto mods are uncensoring. Why would it censor stupid, though? I don't understand. Imagine how you spell the word stupider and no one can answer. I want to know if it's still. I want to know if it censors stupid. No, it's letting me say it. EP, after the stream, I have to ask you where I turn off the auto modder. Unless I could. It's like a quick fix I can do now. Blocks things that could be considered hostile, apparently. Uh, EP, you're getting too hostile on old JK there, bud. Yeah. <laughs> it's no wonder she blames you. <laughs> Everyone blames EP. Everyone JK blames Rowling. EP. It's a meme at this point. Whoops. General Wade Ealing, and he big. EP, you're missing out on a merch opportunity here. You should get some stuff printed that just say blame EP on it. Because every, everyone else's channel says blame EP at some point. DTG doesn't. Yet. <laughs> I apologise for my hostility way to trigger the transphobe. <laughs> <laughs> Uh-oh. Green Lantern died to this thing. In trousers and chains. It does look like the thing, doesn't it? Uh, maybe. Was what? that what you were referencing, or were I you just, just calling said, it a thing? I just called it a thing. Oh, I thought you were, like, saying it looked like the thing from Fantastic Four. Or the thing from the film. Yeah. Look at her skip. She's a happy Harley. Aww. Well, Mr. J. Aww, he took the hat off. I don't know where it's gone. <laughs> what were we watching? Oh, yeah. We were watching El Dorado yesterday. <laughs> and the characters would pull things out because they're like Aztecs. So they wear like cloth and loincloths. And they just pull something out and they go, where were you keeping that? <laughs> I think it just happened once with Chell. But then you said it again with the villain because he just pulled a book out of nowhere as well. Yeah. He just has like a 
flap a cloth on his chest yeah, but and no he pulls one... a book out from under it and I'm like, where have you put that? No one made the comment with him because he not a sexy woman. He not a sexy woman. <laughs> well, I'm sure there's some sort of fandom out there somewhere. There's got to be a fandom for everything. Oh, yeah, absolutely. In my head, I always think of Harley in her Arkham attire. Which one's the Arkham attire? Uh, well... He, he's referring to the Arkham series, and she's had three. There's one where she's been in a uh, like a leather nurse costume. Oh, I've seen the leather nurse costume. Yeah, that looks pretty cool, actually. That's the only one I can remember because that, uh, that's the only game I played that I can remember. Yeah. Were you thinking of the sexy nurse costume? <laughs> I'll post the one I mean on your Discord. Don't kink shame. I'm not kink shaming. I said she looks great in that. Oh, EP sending us porn again. <laughs> oh, EP sending us porn again. Dally up. There. Oh, he means this one. Yeah, I've, I've seen oh, that Oh, I remember before. that one, yeah. Now I remember that. Yeah, I have seen that around before. I've seen some really cool figurines made with that one. Rocket. It only blew up one guy. Do you not know how a rocket works, Harley? See, I'm not giving my A game of this and showing off all the powers. I should be, though. It's because the controls yeah. are... I'm just trying to adapt to controls again. And that the thing is, it's not normally this bad. I have to stress that. It's just, I think it may be a problem, because this is the Patreon version I've got. It could be a problem with that. But the proper game, which I tried yesterday, was fine. Didn't have a problem. So is this actually not the uh, finished version? This is the finished version, but this is the Patreon version of the finished version, which also has the additional character of oh. Black Manta in it. What, so you're saying, like, an additional character is what screwed everything up? You, yeah, because I'm not a professional, I'm not a coder of any kind, but I do hear loads of coding stories that say, I made one change and made ten more errors. Okay, so EP, everything you just posted in the chat, I'm going to assume the, um, the censored word is porn, so, okay, firstly, I never sent either of you porn, I sent Zach a tasteful porn that had been featured in a porn. That a tasteful it. porn? Just because it's tasteful doesn't mean it's not porn. There will be no hate fucking in this Christian smut. <laughs> there will be no hate fucking in this Christian smut. Porn Christ or so much. Well, it's weird because I'm mine. Holy shit, it sounds like the word Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> there will be no Jesus on this stream. This is a good Christian streaming service. We may not use the Lord's name in vain. Or at all. It does not like the word that begins with N, with N U and ends with D. Mm. <laughs> D E so nude. It doesn't like the word nude. Mud. Jeez, I'm assuming that says Jesus is offensive. Jesus is offensive. I don't know. I'm assuming that's what he's put. I can't believe it censored the word Jesus. This auto mod has really got a problem. <laughs> right, EP, please tell me how to turn it off. Oh, but this is funny. I know it's funny, but. We're going to have some things that could be easily taken out of context on the channel when I transfer this stream <laughs> over. It's like, there'll be no Jesus here. <laughs> Jesus is offensive. Okay, to make absolutely certain that doesn't get taken out of context, the auto mod on Twitch censored the word Jesus. Just and so everyone knows. It censored, hmm, Jesus, stupider, cunt. No, it censored stupid, not stupider. He was, he was able to write stupider. I okay. don't know why why that was different. This is a Jesus free zone, I'm gonna assume that <laughs> says. It's like that bit in The Simpsons. A prayer in a public school. God has no place between these walls. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm I'm crying. Oh. Take that kick his shin. So how do I turn it off? What's EP? He's been censored again. What's he said now? He's just said this is a Jesus freezer. You know what's really oh, right. funny though? Imagine if um, 
Oh, uh, this is uh, DC though, so they didn't really have um, they didn't really have characters like that, like uh, Marvel. But imagine if you were playing a Marvel game and it was just censoring any religious name, so it censored Thor and Loki as well. Yeah. <laughs> who is the Who is the son of the son of who? Well, I can't say it because it's yeah. censored. But he has two sons. And it just censors any god's name. How do we get around this? Oh, uh, he has two sons. One kind of looks like Chris Hemsworth. <laughs> the one just, looks like Tom Hiddleston. We just, we just call them Miguel and Tulio. Uh, <laughs> I can tell you how to Oh, but they're a god them. in certain cultures. They may not be allowed. Oh, okay. <laughs> because we're making jokes that only me and you are going to get now. Everyone knows what El what the road to El Dorado is. I don't know if EP knows what the road oh, to El Dorado is. Yeah, EP, you do live under a rock. Have you seen the road to El Dorado? Or have you even heard of it? He says, I can tell you how to disable auto mod, but it's a whole thing, so I think he wants to do it later. Okay. It, 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 to be honest, it is pretty funny just for this one stream. Yes. Next stream, we're going to have to do Stardew, I think. Yeah. Until, until I get a fixed version, if that actually is the problem, because I don't know if it's the controller, the laptop, or the game that's causing me these issues. Heard of it, yes, but not seen it. Go watch it. We watched it, like, last night. It's yeah. really good. I can needlessly rented it. I, well, I couldn't find a copy online, and I was busy eating takeaways, so I thought, you know what? It's, like, 2 50 to rent it. I'll just do that. Uh-oh. Game did not crash. I thought it did. It would have been a cool, cool screenshot if it did, but... Whee! But yeah, I have to let ZVTOR know after the stream that there's something going wrong with the control schemes in the Patreon version. Although I will check off stream as well, just to make sure that it is the Patreon version and not the regular public version. Yeah. Grod didn't even faint when he died, he just grun grumped. I wonder why she takes her hat off when she wins. Why not? Fair enough. Security has been breached by this guy. I don't even know who he is. I <laughs> recognise Marvel heroes. They're rioting. Them. Are you sure they look like they're celebrating? Like, honestly, I was going to say that's Iron Fist, and then I realised this is DC. <laughs> Let's be Beast Boy. Where is he? He's somewhere. Beast Boy. Beast Boy, there he is. Beast, Beast Boy. Boy. Let's put him in his skimpy outfit. Oh, my God. Oh, he turned into an Odin Raven. And I'm a, a dinosaur. I'm a Triceratops. Triceratops. Just the nonchalant look on its face. Uh, whatever. I feel like these kinds of levels are a lot easier with a character like Beast Boy that's just walking into every like even if you miss thick. even if you miss something, you can get it with that butt. That butt. That booty. That big old dino booty. Going to do a test. Yahweh, Buddha, Shiva. <laughs> none, of, none of them are censored. It's just Jesus. It just doesn't like Jesus. Just Jesus. Twitch does not like Jesus. Yeah. Well, no, the Twitch's auto mod doesn't like Jesus. So it's Cyborg and Beast Boy. Oh, the best team up. That's a, that's a confident half sprint he's got going on yeah. there. Oh, it's so dark in here, though. <laughs> I'm a runner. Wait, and then it just... It's just the Christian religion bleep twice. Wait, and then whatever you said after that just got bleeped out as well. Hey, babe, look. Hang on. Denisir! Denisir. Oh, Nice. That was really nice animation as yeah, well. Yeah, the well, animation on Beast Boy is really good. Very smooth, I like that. That got censored as well. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna assume that What that's got says, censored? It, it just says bleep automod. I'm gonna assume it's something like fuck's sake automod or something like that. Yeah. I like how Christ doesn't get censored, but Jesus specifically does. Oh, Jesus. Like, so...
So, did you see that um, anti-Christian review that they did for the new anti um, uh, new Assassin's Creed game? No. So there was a website. I can't remember who it was, but their review, uh, they posted it on Twitter with like a tagline to get people to click on it, and it went, um, "A load of Vikings running at a church screaming death to Christ and all his followers is what 2020 needs right now." And I was like, "Wow." Yeah, I don't know if you want to incite more, like, shit right now. Yeah. Like, there's already enough going on. Let's all just try and get along, please. Yeah. As much as I love my Viking men. (laughs) As much as I love my Viking men. (laughs) Thor and Loki being two of them. (laughs) He's just like, I'll be going back to innocent PC Pixel. But he doesn't exist. Yeah, you don't... There is no PC pixel. There is no innocent pixel. God damn it. Ah. Whee! What time are we on, babe? Oh. Uh, it's quarter to three. Quarter to three. All right, can I find a pause button? No. So, do you think, maybe, if I reset the game... So I can actually get back to the main menu because the controls are just being weird. Yeah. Do you think we should show off the uh, Streets of Rage mode? It's not platforming like this. It's just move to the right and keep beating people up. Uh, sure. Do I not have to jump then? No. Yeah, sure. You just jump if you want to look cool. (laughs) Like Beef Boy does, turning into a bird. Excuse me, my channel was family friendly until about a year or so ago. I can do. You can't go back to being family friendly once you're not family friendly. Yeah, once you go down this path, there is no returning. Yeah, once you once you become a degenerate, you can't turn back. Join us in our degeneracy. Right, I'm gonna reset the game so we can show off the uh, Streets of Rage mode. And then I'm also gonna try and fix the controls as well. But, do you know what? We'll do the test on stream. Where is it? What, so we can carry on talking to EP? Well, no. Uh, I'm going to move this. Uh, I'm going to move this to this folder here, just here. And Because uh, of so this version here that... <laughs> Yeah, also, it was being impossible to, fam- to be family friendly now with the company I keep, like present company. Yeah. I feel like Ash is worse. Oh yeah, Ash is definitely worse. So I, what I'm doing right now is I am um, unpack because Z Zvo- uh, Vitor sent me the public version first before he sent me the Patreon version. So I'm gonna try uploading the public version and see if that one works mm. better than the Patreon because then we can confirm whether or not it's actually the game or not. Yeah, like, Ash, Ash, is, Ash is definitely worse. Like, I feel like me and Zach are a very Christian family-friendly channel. We do not allow hate-fucking <laughs> in any of our Christian streams, <laughs> smut. I don't even remember Because we are good. <laughs> we are good, um, Buddhist Christians. Buddhist? That's a sect, right? No, <laughs> nothing to do with Christianity. That was the joke. Oh. Oh, God. Listen, I'm not half the smartest. Half my heart humour is wasted on you. It is. I'm really not, I'm really not going to pick half of it up. What did you say? This Ash is, is a worse. hate fucking, hate fucking, hate funking free zone. A <laughs> hate funking. That means you dance to disco while hating everyone around you. And yes, I censored myself. <laughs> was that specifically so the auto mod wouldn't do it for you? You'd rather just like censor hey. yourself instead. Hey, if anything, the auto mod is victimizing EP. It is denying his freedom of speech. It is like EP. The auto mod is kink shaming you right now. I mean, you should be able to send porn to whoever you want. I think you should complain to Twitch and get a load of subs for free. <laughs> what is that? Something that's happened before? No. That was exactly because of the auto mod. <laughs> All right, just making sure. I want to make sure the image has come up. Is OBS picking it up? Oh, it's picking something up. I do not send part prawn to people. It's even better with with his own senses. 
Like yeah. the idea of him sending prawn to people. Oh, I know. I have to set it to windowed mode. Hold on. Like, you definitely don't send prawns to people, no, but you do send prawns to them. Prawns. I do not send seafood to people. What is wrong <laughs> with you? How dare! Another merch idea there. I do not send prawn to people. <laughs> Another self-censor. All right, let's see if we can get this uh, control scheme to work. No, now, no, we? I do not send pawns. I mean, I'd expect so without the chessboard. They're pretty useless, EP. Those are pawns, babe. Yeah, he's put pawns. I oh, do not okay. send pawns. I thought you said prawn. No, prawn was earlier. Now he's trying to change it, but make it look understandable. It's that dirty mank oh, accent NG of yours. NG plus live, yo. Hello, NG plus live. That's Nathan. Hello, Nathan. Hello, Nathan. You're just in time. We're about to show you something that could make you happy. It's great. Now I know it's Nathan. I don't have to be nice to them. Oh, yeah. <laughs> also, Nathan, <laughs> be no... Be let it be known that if you attempt to swear or say Jesus, you will be censored because the Autobot is a maverick. <laughs> Specifically Jesus, like no other god, not the word Christ, just Jesus. Damn, Wonder Woman got junk in the trunk. Damn, she do. All right, well she got a bit of a weird face. All right, yeah. babe. So your punching button. Oh, um, I'll go with that one. Your tiny superpower button. Your big superpower button. Your jump button, your blocking button. Yep. And then start. Okay, so it looks better because I remember on the Patreon version, some of those controls were swapping themselves yeah. around. All right, so new game. All right, Nathan. <laughs> Nathan one is of one of. <laughs> oh, yes, he is um, Spaghetti Monster Man. Of course. No. Anyway, all right, Nathan, so as of. Recently, with the public version, which is what we're playing now, there is now a new mode, which is the Streets of Rage mode. Which actually is a crossover with the Streets of Rage game, which is one of Nathan's favourite games. Mm. Two-Face has taken over the city. He was half happy about it, I think. And you can play as all the characters in this mode. Hey. So to go through the entire cast, we've got Dark Side or Dark Seed. Dark, Dark Side. Seed. <laughs> it's still weird that he was played by Weird Al in Teen Titans Go. He said someone's gonna sue. Who's gonna sue? I don't know. Uh, what else? Parallax. Parallax. He's a Green Lantern. Lex Luthor. The Joker. Harley. Star Sapphire. Ah. Cyborg Superman. Lobo. Spawn. Spartan. Warblade. Maul. Raphael. Michelangelo. Donatello, oh, no. Leonardo, no. Eradicator, Steel, Supergirl, Superboy, Huntress, Beast Boy, Raven, Starfire, Nightwing, Robin, Green Arrow, Black Canary, Hawk Girl, Plastic Man, Red Tornado, Shazam, Artemis, Zatanna, Vixen, Flash, Jay Garrett Flash, Jesse Quick, the Flash we do know, Green Lantern. Green Lantern. No, Green not Green Lantern. Lantern. That, oh, I forget. I forget what he's called, but he's his boss. Why uh, does he still say Green Lantern then? Because that's like, part of the faction he's in, I guess. Oh, okay. Cyborg, Martian Manhunter, and Batman. Aquaman, shirtless Aquaman. Oh, there's a lot of characters this Yeah, time. which is why I like this game so much. Yeah. Such a huge uh, thing. Wonder Woman and Superman when he loses his powers. Superman when he's got his powers. Yeah. Now, we would have Black Manta, but like we say, the Patreon version isn't working so well. So once it's fixed, we'll show him off properly. But I'm going to be Lex Luthor. Do I offend you with my superiority, I think he said. Right. Start. Oh yeah, for some reason it thinks the start button is that trigger again, so just let it. Oh, wow. It's only letting me... It's... I'm playing as the Flash now. I wanted to be um, Raven. Oh. Oh, well. Uh, flash now. All right, to confirm, the controls are still buggered up. The, they aren't what I assigned them to be. Yeah, no, that because that was meant to be on a normal attack, and I just kind of did a weird shit instead. That's my jump, okay. Is the hidden one up there? Where is it, it Nathan? That's my normal one, okay. Here's the hidden what? 
There's a hidden extra life somewhere, apparently, in this area in the game, but it? I don't know what. There, where I am. How do I pick it up? No, that's just a sign. No, not the sign there, like, the s below me. What? It's a lamppost. Is it? No, not that. The one next to the lamppost. The sign. Is it? Yeah, it's a street sign. Oh. I thought it was, like, one of those things that uh, Harley Behind was Behind the foreground, before. he says. All right, hang on. Well, when we're not being beaten up, we'll have a look. Yeah, I, there it was, Nathan. You were right. It's down here. Um, uh, Chrissy's hi, here. Hi, Chrissy. God, you miss like such so much gay conversation, Chrissy. Oh, that's just my jump. I was watching the wrong character. I forgot it was the Flash for a minute. <laughs> Of course, Flash does look a lot like Lex Luthor. Listen, I didn't intend to pick out the Flash, so I'm not, like, really thinking that strongly about him. No, you prefer Steve. Rain delayed. I made a whole video on Streets of Rage 2 after all. You did. Can you defeat it by using only super moves? And you can. I like how he's just doing steps, like whenever I need oh. to stop Flash, he'll move forward and then he'll start to run and then I need to, whenever I need to stop, it's just like he did a little tap dance. Uh, he's just, he's keeping on his toes. Bouncy boy. Yeah, Chrissy was hiding in her car. She has a car? I think is it powered by piggies. Chrissy can drive! See, just a little tap dance. Yeah, that's how he runs. If you hold it in, if you double tap it, he runs. Maybe not right now because we're in the middle of a fight. Oh, yeah. It's a bit awkward to do. I think it's the sticks on the controllers, to be honest. When did the flash fly? Mm. Of course, just casually calling in an orbital strike to deal with a street fog. Okay, that's that one. Because if you've got money, why not? to do that, to be honest. Who was it who in um, one of these videos, like, not, I don't think it was a ZV tour one, but, like, one of these arcade-type ones, and someone was like, I take it the person on the floor was Akka. Yep. <laughs> like, was that Chrissy? <laughs> We're working, well, I'm trying to arrange a collaboration with Sparkle and Pop to review Altered Beasts, and... You kept pushing the button that meant you <laughs> laid on your back, kicking into the air. Well, now, Chrissy, you get to see firsthand how terrible I am at these kinds of games. Literally can't remember which button's which off the top of my head. The next time we stream together, mm -hmm. would you want to... Well, it just depends what people want in the chat as well. But would you want um, Stardew Valley or should we do Spiritfarer? Well, Spirit Fairer could be fun. I'm still kind of looking forward to doing um, Monster Prom because I've not played the DLC yet because I've been waiting to do it with you in stream. Well, we wanted to call in Judith and Chrissy for that one yeah. as well. Uh, I'm good with either Spirit Fairer or Stardew. Should we see what Gina wants to do? Because she was going to join Stardew, wasn't she? Yeah, but she hasn't got it. Ah, okay. Right, I made some content for a ZVTOR game too. I might make some content for a ZVTOR game too. It looks like at the website and the Marvel stuff. But yeah, the, the Marvel yeah. one is really good, EP. Works better than this. I'm not saying that to be horrible, but it's just... I think this is just a mistake on ZVTOR's part. But he'll fix it. He fixes them quickly. ZVTOR seems like a really cool guy. He's he is. like dropped by the chat before and stuff. He's very, very cool.
No, I'm punching the wrong way. I was looking at the chat. Whee! Oh, I'm trying to run. There we go. Well, I don't run. I glide with jazz hands. I tap dance away. <laughs> if, if he wants to dance, let him dance. Don't style shame him. Style shame. I can't say kink shame because I doubt there's it. Well, there probably is a kink somewhere for tap dancing in the world. Oh, yeah. We live in a strange world. Oh, look at that pose that I just did. Hang on. If I could grab someone and do it again. Err. Yes. Err. <laughs> The bald head is making me think of the voice I was doing for um, Helmut Kruger. I'm Helmut! Helmut Kruger! Ha ha ya! Can I say kink shame? Apparently he can. Apparently he can say kink shame without an off without like an issue. I don't know why I just wasted all my blue on that. Blue. I was just like pressing buttons. Catwoman! She was enjoying a nice drink of milk in the bar and now she's angry. Calling an orbital strike on the cat. I like how whatever is going on here has caused Lex Luthor to team up with the good guys, but Catwoman's still just like, nah. Yeah, no, nah, fuck you. Like, Catwoman, the one that I can actually imagine teaming up with the good guys once in a while. I think we'll end the stream when we both run out of lives. That's not going to take long for me. I don't know about you. Uh, well, the but I keep pressing the wrong button. So I'm not really using my A game material. So I can say kink, but not Jesus. I'm assuming probably he said Jesus. To avoid anyway. event offending people, you should probably avoid saying that in this same sentence. <laughs> I got a kink for Jesus. <laughs> you made it worse. All I said was like, you can say kink, but not Jesus in the Twitch chat. Which is really weird. <laughs> It's Solomon Grundy. Born on a Monday. I forget how the rhyme goes. Born on a Monday, married on a Tuesday, buried on a Friday or something like that. I can't remember. Was that like the rhyme for his character or something? No, I think Sol I think the Solomon Grundy is a, is an actual rhyme. It's just that he, that's what he's identified as. There's no health buff. Oh yeah, there is. It's just like on below on both. Yeah, I know EP, and like I said, I was just repeating to show why it would be offensive. It doesn't mean I condone. Oh, we killed him. Now just pose. I mean, all I did was say, was repeat it. <laughs> yeah. Two supermen. Right, I'm going to be one of the Ninja Turtles. I want to see if I can get to, um... Uh... Raven. Yeah. <laughs> Let's do this. Let's do this. Thanks, Daria. Hashtag blame Zach. Oh, you can't change the, um... You can't change the thing now, EP. It's always going to be Flame EP. It's always going to be your pride and joy, that EP. <laughs> Do we just get the one attack in this level? Some characters can jump. I think you can because you can fly. I can jump, but like, I can't do anything You only get the one ravens. in these, yeah. You're just meant to shoot things. Okay. Although, Nathan's probably watching at the minute going, I don't remember a driving level in Streets of Rage. Oh, they're ravens, right. I was like, what yeah. the fuck are you firing? Well, actually, no, that's not true, because I was going, all right, I'm going to kill this tank. Where are all these birds coming from? Oh, it's you. Ignore my birds. Oh, I died. You're back, though. I should remember that I can jump. How EP claims jump? he can change it, and he will. There's four against one at the minute. Four channels against one. Yeah, no one's on your side for changing this, EP. You should jump over the cars, babe. Yeah, but then I jump into them half the time. Well, oh, move can, like, while float. you jump. I can float. 
There you go, you floated to the end. Ignore my birds sounds like a euphemism. <laughs> Ignore my birds sounds like... <laughs> Ignore my harem. Where did you get harem from? Because my little sister calls... Sometimes calls women birds. Oh. When did you switch to Michelangelo? When we had the option to choose a character, and that's Leonardo. Oh. <laughs> no, stupid. Do not know your TMNT lore. I know a bit about it. The only one that I was really that interested in was the one that, where they all went to the future. The like, future. That one was actually a really good show. I don't know why I keep jumping. That's apparently my go-to button. Just, like, <laughs> you just like to hop around. Yeah. Just my hands automatically go to the jump button and I'm not sure why. Walking is for losers. Ooh, that was cool. So, would you like to see this team up? A Mutant Ninja Turtle and Raven. That's two very different universes, two very different characters. But I would rather see her team up with Michelangelo because oh, it would be I'm used to no but- Oh no! Don't make me feel bad now! Look at Leonardo's tap dance. I wish she would walk a bit faster, like she looks slower. Than she actually it's, is. She's sad, that's why. Me. It's goth, it's part of her nature. <laughs> what, to be slow? To be sad. I know you all hate me, that's why I live in a cave. We've got one life left. How far can we take it? Although you might be able to go to zero. Although we have got free credits, but still. Tap dance, tap dance. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Not so much as a wiggle, more of a shrug from Raven. Yeah. I would have been Starfire, but I didn't want a flying character. I kind of forgot that Raven could fly. To make it better, blame Zack. Blame Zack for what? Why would you do this time? Hashtag Blame Zack. Because well, then, not... like, we're going to do a hashtag for Blame Zack or something instead of hashtag Blame EP. And it would just be EP who uses it. Yeah, that's the thing, EP. I'm sorry, but hashtag Blame EP has just become such, like, an integral thing. I don't know where... It... I'm assuming Chrissy created it. Yeah, she did. And then it grew. And it grew. Raven it became... hasn't got the Jesus to pull off the proper wiggle. <laughs> She hasn't got the Jesus. <laughs> Every time something censored now, I'm just going to assume it says Jesus. Assume Jesus. <laughs> All right, well, we'll call that the end. All right, so let's turn off the game. So thank you, everyone, who did turn up and got involved with the stream. We appreciate all of you. We do have to stress, though, well, I should, because you don't know as much about this. I don't know about this. I should stress that the game's control issue that I had is not something that has been present in all of his games. It's been... It just seems to have come out with this. I am going to mention it to him, and I am hoping he's going to fix it. But... You should give these games... If you are interested, you should give these games a go. They are definitely worth a play. So thank you, everyone, for turning up. Thank you. And we will see you... Well, one of us will see you next week. Chances are it's going to be me. Well, yeah, I'm, I'm probably not going to stream on my own. <laughs> But I don't know what to play. Um, I'll put some ideas in the Discord. If anyone has any ideas, put them in the Discord and I will see what I can do. So thanks for dropping by, everyone, and I will see you next week. Same time, same place, and all that shit. Bye.